My name is Nicole Garrett and I volunteer at CareNet. I was in mom's group for several years and, and I had been praying for a really long time about where God wanted me to serve. After the guest speaker, Jerry Amos, came from CareNet, she said that they were looking for volunteers. From the first meeting that Nicole and I had, I knew that God had placed her in my life and she knew that God had placed me in her life. When she, when she you know, said it, I had never heard of CareNet and at that point it was like I just knew that that's where God wanted me to go. The primary focus of um, CareNet's ministry is um, to help women in like a crisis pregnancy or an unplanned pregnancy. Um, so anyone who's facing a pregnancy decision, um, they're you know a pro-life um, ministry, they share the gospel. Everything that we offer for our clients, there is no charge ever. Everything is free. So free pregnancy tests, free ultrasounds, we have parenting classes, we have classes in life skills. We also have outside resources where we do referrals. We have um, also post-abortion classes here within the facility. So a lot of outreach takes place as well. When I was 14 years old, I found out that I was pregnant and I was terrified to tell my parents, you know, like I love babies and I love kids. And so in my mind, if you get pregnant, you have a baby because you love babies and you love kids. My parents weren't supportive of me keeping the baby and they put a lot of pressure on me to have an abortion. And ultimately I decided to have an abortion. And I remember feeling that that's not what I really wanted, but I was doing what I felt like I had to do. I don't, I didn't know God at the time, and at that point I felt so separated and far from God. And I think he was probably crying with me that, you know, that that choice, that my decision grieved him. Um, and I know in that moment he would have forgiven me. I know, you know, I know that he would have been a loving, merciful father, because that's who he is. My high school years were extremely hard. They were extremely hard. I had no way of expressing how I was feeling. I was just holding it in. I, w I didn't tell any of my friends because I was ashamed. And I didn't tell my parents who knew about it because, you know, I think, I think we all just wanted to forget about it. Becoming a Christian, like, dramatically changed my life. But I think the biggest thing that had me, like, you know, in bondage was just that, that shame and that guilt. I mean, I never talked about my abortion before I came to CareNet, and it was just all like bound up inside and pushed down and suppressed. I help lead a, a post-abortion Bible study for anybody who wants to receive healing from their abortion. I know for me, like it helped me with guilt and shame and receiving God's forgiveness. And so by being able to come to CareNet, I was able to express those feelings and get those feelings out and not have to push them down and suppress them anymore. I think before I went through this study, there was a part of me that didn't even realize that I needed healing. There was a part of me that felt I was just dealing with it the best that I could. Through the study, um, I was able to forgive uh, my parents for their part in it. Once I had healings in it, then I was able to go and talk to them about it to just share our hearts with each other, you know, and to ask each other for forgiveness, you know, for them to ask me and for me to ask them. So I certainly was not um, the perfect child, and so I had a lot to, to ask them to forgive me for. You know, and my dad said, if I could go back, I would say, let's have the baby. And, you know, just to hear those words, um, you know, for me, it really, it meant a lot. Um, and then, you know, my mom, she's a volunteer at CareNet. She volunteers as a care staff volunteer. Um, so she's in the appointment rooms with, you know, ladies who are considering abortion, uh, you know, or who are in that same situation. And to me, like, that speaks volumes that, you know, the whole family has been healed through this Bible study. I never imagined that God would bring me to this place. Like I always felt like I was just going to stay in that place of like zip your lips and keep it in and I never thought that I would have 
just the freedom to be able to talk about it openly. I want to share that message with everyone that, you know, if God can do this for me, He can do it for you. Everyone in the church probably has a story of a friend, a neighbor, a relative, or maybe them themselves, a story of abortion. We are making a difference in the women's community, but we are making a difference, the bottom line for our community in general, financially, spiritually. We are part of the entire picture. You know, it's just a such an awesome, you know, ministry and just to watch how God changes people's lives. It's just a miracle what God has done. It's a miracle, but at the same time, it's a miracle that He can do in any any woman's life too. I knew that God had something for me, but I was like, I could never talk about my abortion like publicly, open, you know, like that'll, God could never do that for me. And I was so wrong. <laughs>